Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Tuesday the 27th of July 2021 uh, Guardian Medium Puzzle, that means just normally Tuesday is a one slight step above very easy to kind of slightly harder easy if you know what I mean um, in the news uh, Thailand is in the headline for the Guardian today and here I am in Thailand and uh, the number of, they're reporting that the number of cases has spiked and in some cases people are being uh, treated in car parks and uh, yeah here I can tell you that the situation has got much worse in the last uh, month, two months really, um, it's gone crazy you know we did so well at the beginning um, and uh, now because of the lack of vaccine um, sufficient vaccine, there are some vaccines available but not enough um, it's really uh, become um, a terrible situation. I just got the news in. The Guardian was reporting yesterday's news, but I can give you the latest update since it, I just saw it a moment ago. Uh, of 14,000 new cases, more than 14,000 new cases, 118 people died. Yesterday was a new record, over 15,000. The day before that was over 15,000. So this is pretty similar figures. I mean, you know, uh, quite similar figures, and over 120 um, people died in the last couple of days as well each day um, you know and when you consider that for the first year almost we had about 60 people for the whole period so you know we've really squandered our our, our, our lead our, our great control that we had over the pandemic it's it's gone now and the, the, the disease is spreading like wildfire we are under serious lockdown as well I mean basically all shops are shut except for food shops uh, which really needs to happen, but the trouble is that it's got out and it's spreading, you know, so Anyway, uh, to people in Thailand here, we wish uh, Everybody here in Thailand, we wish the best and uh, Around the world as you suffer in your various countries uh, From this still ongoing pandemic Okay, but we'll take our mind off that by playing Sudoku. Let's get on with uh, our game so uh, you may well be a beginner because this is a really a game that usually beginners can play as well. They label it as medium, but it's usually a pretty easy game on Tuesdays. So I shall explain very quickly. You'll see rows across, you'll see rows down, and you'll see these boxes or blocks that are outlined in a thicker line. And what we do is we fit the numbers 1 to 9 in each of these rows across, each of these columns down and each of these blocks. Now there are only nine squares across, nine squares down, nine in a block. So that means numbers one to nine only. We never get as far as double digits. Okay, and how do we do that? Well, we know that a number can appear once only in its row, column, or block. Okay, so six blocking up here, six blocking up here. And that means in this block up here in the top right, we can't put a six in any of these five squares and there is only one other empty square so we must put our six there we know it goes there there's only one solution for the sudoku puzzle so we know that it has to go there this uniqueness is an important aspect as well um, when you play at higher levels uh, okay now this one let's go in the opposite direction this one coming down to the bottom here and this one coming down to the bottom here gives us this location where we can and must place a one. And uh, you've got the idea now? Okay, so I'll leave it up to you, shall I? I'll just toddle off and let you carry on. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be value for money, even though you don't pay for this. Um, so uh, let's carry on in that case. So, um, you know, what I'm doing now, you can't see me because I'm hiding from the camera, but is uh, to look all around and see what can be, what possibilities we have. Uh, for example, I see in this block here we don't yet have a 6, but I see this 6 blocking across this row here, and this 6 blocking across this row here, right like this. So blocked here, blocked here, that gives us a 6 that we can put there. Um, now, now that we've blocked that off, okay, 
when we see this one, we see it blocks across the center square. Now, a moment ago, we could have put it in three possibility, three possible squares, which wouldn't have been any use to us. But now this top row here in this block is blocked off to us. I keep using the word block, but you know what I mean. Uh, so this one comes across here and restricts one to this square and this square. And now we have an intersecting one at the bottom here, knowing, meaning we can't uh, place a one there. So we have to put a one there like that. Now we see this 9 coming down here blocking these two squares and this 9 blocking this square here. And so 9 has got to go here like this. Um, usually when we get to a small number of squares left in a, in a row, column or block, we check and see what's missing. In this case we have missing uh, 2, 3 and 7. We have a 1, we don't have a 2. We have 4, 5, 6. Uh, and sorry, we don't have a two, we don't have a three, we have four, five, six, we don't have a seven. So we're missing two, three, and seven, and we have three squares in which to place two, three, or seven. Right? Three squares remaining. We know two, three, or seven must be here. Now look, this three means that this can't be a three, and this two means that this can't be a two. So if two and three are restricted to these two squares, what's left must be here. As I just said, that's a 7 because it's 2, 3, and 7 for those three numbers. Normally it's a good idea when you see a row like this with two numbers missing at the ends to count through and see what's missing. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't have a 5, 6, 7. We don't have an 8. So 5 and 8 are missing and must go in these two squares, 5 and 8. Well, clearly, this 8 can't be repeated in this block. So an 8's got to go here. And also, an 8 is blocking it down here. And when you look in this side, this 5 means 5 is blocked here. So there are three reasons to get the same conclusion, that 8 must go here and 5 must go here. Um, very often you see uh, more than one way to find a number when you're playing this game. This 8 blocks up this column here, this 8 blocks down this column here, and 8 blocks across here. So 8 is going to be here like this. And now we've got that, that 8 blocks right across this row. And we'll concentrate our attention on this block here. This 8 blocks across here. And so guess what? We've got to fit an 8 there. Now we've only got two numbers missing. We know that they are 2 and 3. Because this is 2 and 3 that we looked at before. And so if you see this kind of situation, if you have two numbers missing here and two numbers in this row, they must be the same numbers. So this is 2 and 3 as well missing. But we don't have any intersecting 2s or 3s to tell us. Um, so we just have to leave it and come back later when we find a few more digits. Uh, you know, it's a game of uh, leaving constantly, going away and coming back. I don't mean leaving physically from the grid, although sometimes that's a good idea too. Uh, especially if you have a really difficult puzzle, sometimes it's a good idea to go away and get a cup of tea or something, or, or uh, you know, go away and watch TV for a little while or something, or read a book, listen to some jazz, and then when you come back, suddenly it hits you and you say, man, why didn't I see that before? Really? That's so obvious. You know, it can be like that. Um, right then. Um, where should I look now? Maybe I should check this column here and see what's missing. Uh, we don't have a 1 in this column. I see a 1 here, so 1 is going to be in one of these two squares. I know that. 2, we have 3. 4, we don't have any info on 4. No. 5, we don't have any info on 5. Well, it blocks this square here, but that's not enough to give us a square, a, you know, a definite um, position. So, no, that is not good enough.
well, perhaps the Guardian's going to prove me wrong and make it a, a much tougher puzzle today. <laughs> or perhaps I'm just kind of, um, just can't see anything. Um, Ah, okay, I've seen something. Now, this one is one that requires a couple of steps. So sometimes when we play this game, we need to think a couple of steps ahead, all right? So we have to bear with me for a little while. Now, this four blocks up this column, right? So no four. When we look at this block here, no four in these three squares. Four will have to appear either here or here. One of those two. We don't know which one, but one of them. Um, because we know that it's going to be in this column, here or here, it means that 4 cannot reappear down here. So this square is now blocked for a 4. Okay. Now this 4 blocks across here like this. This 4 blocks up here like this. So blocked, blocked, and blocked from up here. So that gives us a 4 in that square there. Oh, I can hear... Meowing cat. Sounds quite sad. I shall I have to go and look soon, I think. Okay. Um, I'm a sucker for cats, I must admit. Uh, where to next? neighbors is dealing with the cat. It's a stray. <laughs> I can't concentrate. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. Um, um, where am I? Meowing cats are designed to make you lose your thread when it comes to Sudoku, and that's a very common thing for me, since I have a couple of cats. Um, mm, I'm going very slowly here. I hope you're not in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, um, Sudoku might not be the game for you, unless you're, you know, like one of these um, champion players who play competitively. Uh, but Sudoku is really a game to, you know, sit back and Zen in Zen-like. That's why I call it Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku. I think, you know, um, you can do it in a kind of a calm and placid way. And of course, it's a nod to the book as well. You know that. Uh, come on, get on with it. Right, um, what we're we missing down here? Two, two blocks across here, so two is here or here. Three blocks down here, so three is here or here. Four, five, six, seven, we don't know. Yes, seven blocks across here, so seven is here or here. And nine can go anywhere. <coughs> that was absolutely a waste of time, because it didn't give me um, any enough restrictions. So, um, let's look elsewhere. Eight blocks across here, so eight is here or here, and that's not going to be anything. Eight is here or here, eight is here. Ah, here we go. So, finally, eight blocks up here, eight blocks across here. So eight will be placed either in this square or this square. See it? Eight blocking up here, eight blocking across here. So eight is here or here, and when it does, like we just noticed along here, we don't know which square it will be, but it will block along this row. So no eights along this row here now. This 8 blocks up here like this, giving us an 8 that we can place there. Now this row here does not have a 2. But the first thing we can say is this 2 here means that these two squares can't be 2. Because 2 cannot reappear in its block, so no 2 here or, or here. 
And then we see a 2 blocking from up here, so this square can't be 2. So in this row, this 2 blocks these 2 squares, and this 2 blocks this square. So there's only one square left, so 2 has got to go there. Now, if you remember, we had 2 or 3 in this square here, because we had 2 or 3 here, which meant that 2 or 3 also had to be here. So this 2 means that that can't be a 2 now. So that's got to be a 3, and that's our 2, and that's our 3. So it's quite a tough one for a Tuesday. I mean, you know, compared to what you normally get on a Tuesday, uh, this is a hard standard by that measure. Okay, in this column here, what numbers are missing? We have one, two, three. We don't. Oh, we have a four. Sorry. Uh, we don't have a 5, so 5 is limited to these two squares up here, right? We don't yet have a 5, but this 5 means this can't be 5, but also there's a 5 blocking here. So we can place a 5 there immediately, even before we finish counting through. Um, we've got 6, we don't have a 7, we've got an 8, we don't have a 9. So the remaining two numbers must be 7 and 9 in this column, and look, this 9 is very close by, meaning that that's got to be the 7 and that's got to be the 9. Now we have 7 blocking across here, 7 blocking across here, 7 up from here, 7 up from here, giving us a 7 in that square there. The missing numbers, 1, 2, 3, we don't have 4, 5, 6, and 8, and 9, so it's a 4 and 9 are the two missing numbers here. Well, clearly this 9 means that can't be a 9, so 9 goes here, 4 goes here. Uh, you see that, you know, our options are fewer and fewer as we play the game, which you might imagine if you're a beginner means that we always continue in this fashion until you know it becomes very easy at the end, but that's not always true. Counterintuitively, sometimes it can get really, really difficult at the end. It can be easy for the first 60% of the game and then the last 40 or 30% or something like that turns out to be a nightmare. Uh, but you'll find that as you as you learn more and play the harder levels, I hope you will learn more and play the harder levels anyway. Um, right, what's missing now? Should we investigate across this row here? It looks like likely one is up here, so this one blocks here. Do we have a two yet? Mm, can we say anything about twos? No. Three. We don't have a three, but we have a three here, so that blocks. So one and three are going to be here. Four, five, six. Do we have a seven? No, seven could be in either of these two squares, but it could also be here. So there's not enough to, not enough to say anything um, definitively. So we have to keep looking. Uh, the missing numbers here, by the way, are two and seven. Um, but we can't do anything about them for the moment down here. These are two, these are seven. Um, nothing, else, nothing else we can do. All right, so this is rather a good game, actually. Um, it's turned out to be a rather nice one. Oh, no, I remember this eight. Okay, so eight blocking across here and eight blocking up here now, so that now we can actually place the eight up here and... If you remember, we also can place the 8 down here, blocking down here, blocking down here, and 8 blocking across here. You know, you see things, when you're looking for these patterns, you see things, and they kind of stay in your memory, and then you pick them up later. It certainly exercises your memory, this game, as well as your logic skills.
Okay, we don't yet have a 5 in this row, but look, there's a blocking 5 here and a blocking 5 here, or this 5, whichever you prefer for that one. But that means that that's the only place where a 5 can go, and now that we've got that, this 5 blocks down here, this 5 blocks down here, giving us a 5 there. 5 across here, 5 down here, 5 down here. Let's just place a 5 there. Um, I was looking here, 1, 2, 3, we're missing 4 and 6 for this square, and this square, 4 and 6. Any help on 4 or 6? No, surprisingly, okay. Oh, actually, uh, it doesn't, yes, there is help, but in a rather different form, because 6 now blocks up this column, we don't yet have a 6 here, 6 blocks this column, That's the that leaves only that square, and so then a 4 is going to have to appear there. So now this 4 blocks this square, and the last number to get in this block is 1. One number to get across here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't have a 6 yet. We do now. One number to get down here, 1, 2, 3, no 4 yet, so 4 goes in here. 1, 2, uh, we're missing 3 and 7, 3 and, sorry, 3 and 6, but we don't know anything. So we leave it, come back. Don't get frustrated when you can't find something, just go somewhere else. What well, are the missing numbers along the top here? We're missing 1, 2, and 3, actually. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. So you see the 2 blocks here, the 3 blocks here, and the 1 could go anywhere. Um, so that's not so good. Let's have a look and see what's missing in this block. We don't yet have a 2. And we can only say that's blocked here, so there's too many options. 3. Okay, so 3 blocks across here and here. So 3 is in one of these two squares. Four, five, six, seven. Seven is this square or this square because of blocking here and blocking here. That's also unhelpful. Eight, nine is our last number. Ah, finally, you know this is often hap this often happens. You count through to nine and then you see something. Nine blocking across here, nine blocking down here will give us a nine here, and that probably will finish the game. Actually, you get normally in Sudoku you get a number and you think that's enough to finish the game. Now, that's probably it. This 9 blocks down here, this 9 blocks down here, that will give us a 9 here. Uh, and now we know that 9 blocking across here and down here will give us a 9 in this square here. And uh, everything else should fall pretty easily, I think, now. What are the two numbers missing? 1, oh, we, um, 2 and 7, is it from here and here? Any? No, still no use. 2 and 7, 2 and 7. Ah, there we go. But now are two blocks here. So this missing numbers here are 2 and 7. This 2 blocks this square, so 2 goes here, 7 goes here. 7 is the last number missing from there. This 2 blocks this square, so 2 goes here. 1, 2, we don't have a 3 in this block yet, so we can place it now. This 3 blocks this square from being a 3, so 3 goes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, one number left to get. 1, 2, 3, there's no 4 in this row. So we place it. Missing numbers here now are 1. We don't have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 6 are missing here. 6 blocks this square. So 6 goes here. 1 goes here is our last number. Um, okay. Let's see what else we can do. 1 number missing here. 1. Uh, we don't have a 2 in this row yet. So 2 goes here. Now 2 blocking up here. 2 blocking up here. We can place our 2 here now. The other numbers are 1 and 3. This 3 blocks this square, so 3 goes here. 1 goes here. This 1 blocks this square. This 1 blocks this square. 1 goes here. 1, 2, we don't have a 3, but this 3 blocks that square. goes there. 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's the end of our game. But we should double check. We have to do a manual check because we don't, we're not doing this on the computer. And so therefore we have to check our work and make sure we don't find any doubles because it can certainly happen. It happened to me once <laughs> on this channel indeed. I placed uh, doubles uh, by mistake. And, but a polite and kind viewer pointed it out to me. So thank you to that person. Right, that's the end from a lockdown Bangkok. Um,
let's hope the news gets good soon. I can't imagine. I imagine it's going to take at least another week or two before things start to improve here. Even though we're under strict lockdown, um, so I hope for better reports in the future. So please stay safe wherever you are. Wish you all the best and hope that you'll come back to the channel again. Subscribe and you know do what you know I'd like to do on YouTube. Thank you. Bye bye.